welcome everyone to Artisan Heirloom Foods. And this is my first video of 2018. I wanted to share with you a, not really an experiment, but just sort of what it is that I'm doing here indoors. I went and purchased uh, grow lights. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to see how powerful the grow lights were and how well, uh, you know, different things would grow. So these here are radishes. It's coming on uh, three weeks since I planted these radishes. I planted them right before the new year. Um, actually, tomorrow will be three weeks. Um, I didn't have 100% germination. I planted three seeds per pot. And as you can see, the pot directly in uh, right there in the center of the, of the video, there's only one. And if we go back a little bit, you'll see in these two, there's only one. And then in this one, there's only two. Um, the first one to come up was this one. But clearly, the most healthiest and vigorous of all of the radishes is that one. Um, now, I'm a little confused because the packet says um, uh, days germination, four to seven days, which that was pretty much true. It took about a week, about five days for these to start germinating. And they didn't all come up at once. They started, they, they started um, off on the fifth day and then by the eighth or ninth day this is what we had um, but the days until harvest tomorrow will be the 21st day and I don't think I'll be harvesting in six days um, or in five days I just don't think that's gonna be possible um, there's obviously no radish bulbs uh, the root or the you know the swollen stem hasn't started yet so we're gonna keep going until I get a harvest and I'll share that update with you um, when, uh, and how long it actually took but it's quite you know it's a little cool in this room this is the family room it's kind of an extra room in our house and um, but I do leave the lights on you know 18 hours a day um, and uh, this is what I've gotten so far. They don't look spindly. Um, they, uh, you know, some are a little longer than others. The stems are longer than others. But um, for the most part, they look pretty, you know, they, they look like what they're supposed to. I don't know. Um, I've never really had good luck with radishes. And then I planted seeds and... They've just kind of not really done well. But I wanted to try them out because I had a seed packet. So I thought I'd try them out. Now if we move over to this here. As you can see, there's nothing in here. And this is parsley. And parsley does take about 30 days, as, as long as 30 days to germinate. And so I don't expect to see anything from here for another week and a half. Um, you know, at the soonest. So we'll come back to that later. Now here, we see some little greens, and this is my basil. Um, this is what I've gotten so far. Um, like I said, I planted these three weeks ago, and um, this is all I've gotten. I've gotten uh, six little seedlings. One of them actually has two. That's because I planted two seedlings, or two seeds per pot. And that so I've got actually have two in this one and if we just look just close you can see that the secondary leaves uh, the true leaves are just now beginning to uh, pop up through the center and that these are quite small they haven't really grown in the last almost week they haven't really grown very large uh, larger than this so I I'm not quite sure like I said the light stays on them um, uh, 
18 hours of the day. I turn it on, I, I'm sort of an insomniac, so I get up around between one and two o'clock in the morning, and I turn them on, and then I turn them off between six and seven at night. Um, and um, so, you know, they, and there's been a couple of times where I've, I've actually forgotten to turn the lights off and um, actually this last week and they were on for 48 hours or almost 48 hours and that but um, so I'm not quite sure you know I, I, this is just I want to get a feel for how things grow and what to expect so um, I know they're getting plenty of heat they're directly underneath one of my heat vents um, and uh, so, and then I have a portable heater out here in this room that I keep going all the time because during the day when I'm not at home, um, the heat, we have a smart thermostat and the heater doesn't kick, in, kick on until uh, closer around five at night, six o'clock at night. So it'll go off about eight o'clock in the morning and come back on at five, six o'clock at night. And um, I have sugar gliders in this room and the sugar gliders, you know, it gets really cold in here. This is the coldest room in the house and it's the hottest room in the house during the summer. So um, I have to kind of, and I have a bunny in here too, so my daughter has a rabbit and two sugar gliders. So I have to make sure I keep this room, you know, at least decent for them. And so um, I'm always spraying, if you look, it's, it's not, it's damp underneath, but the top of it has actually um, dried out. Um, and that's so, um, but, uh, you know, we keep it, I try to keep them moist. I have a spray bottle and I, I'll miss the tops. And that I add Epsom salt to the water, so they kind of get a, an Epsom water shower or spray down. Um, so I, that's what I do and then this one I just planted about um, a week ago these are turnips I wanted to I've never grown turnips before and I had a packet of turnips that I had bought but I'd never actually used and so I planted these a week ago I just wanted to see what they how they turned out and what they look like and how they grew um, but I actually have a three um, I'm, I'm wanting to use this to grow starts for the garden this year. And so, um, what I have done is went out and I've bought three shop lights that have four, four uh, lights per unit. And I have a, a stainless steel um, uh, uh, shelf. And I've, what I've done is I placed three, I have three shelves that um, I have lights on. And so I plan on starting tomatoes and peppers and eggplants uh, and different things like that um, for the next growing season. So I just wanted to share this with you and uh, not quite sure what you're doing this time of year. It's pretty cold outside. It was actually zero degrees yesterday here in Oklahoma. And um, so there's not much to do out in the garden. It's just too cold. Uh, I don't wanna get sick. So um, I'm just experimenting here in the house and preparing for the, for the upcoming growing season. So um, I will end it here until my next video. I hope everyone does well. I hope you're in good health. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like if you like this video. And uh, hit that notification button so when I upload new videos, you'll be notified. And always comment and let me know what you're up to and what you're doing and your thoughts and suggestions are. And until my next video, you guys take care. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.